hello guys i welcome you back to jm graphic tutorial so in this session of tutorial i'm going to show you how to use hit power photo enhancer to enhance some of the images that we use in our photoshop sometimes some of the images that we use in our photoshop may be so blur and very difficult for us to use inside the photoshop or very very difficult for us to use for our graphic design but with the help of the hit power photo enhancer we will be able to make the images so sharp and so easy for us to use in the Photoshop. So HitsPower has been one of the most common apps that most of the graphic designers use to create more beautiful and nice artistic graphic designs in Photoshop. So these are some of the images that I use HitsPower Photo Enhancer to edit. So let's get inside the hits power photo enhancer and let's get abreast with some of the effects in this app so first of all i just want to open the app this is the way that the app is going to open to us so this is how it is so this is the first interface that you are going to um, encounter when you open the hits power photo enhancer so to begin with everything that you just want to do you just have to upload a picture that you think that it is a play or it is very tedious for you to use in your graphic design so first of all i just want to go to my choose files then i'll just go and choose any file that i just want to enhance the image so um i can scroll down here and let me pick this up this image up So maybe this image is very difficult for me to use or maybe this image is so blurry or maybe this image is so noisy for me to use in my graphic design and I just want to enhance the image so that it becomes so sharper for me to use in my Photoshop. So I will just import the image as I just imported it. Then we have several options here but um, Hit Power Photo Enhancer is also one of the AI tools. Or AI tools that we use to edit pictures. So we have general model, yeah, we have denoise model, we have face model, and we have colorized model. So all the models has its own effect that when you apply it will come. So for example, when you choose the general model, the general model is actually used to correct things which are so blurry so if you import things that are so blurry we use the general model to correct it we have the denoise some of the images also comes very noisy you see those kinds of particles in the image so if you have an image like this we use this kind of ai tool or ai model to just correct it and we have face model so the face model is actually used to make the image more sharper and very clean so most of the time this is one of the models that i've been used to apply to most of my images that i use in my graphic work and we have colorized model so if something is black and white and you just want it to be colorized maybe you have an image and it is black and white and you just want to apply colors on it this is one of the things for you you just apply it and the black and white image will just turn into a colorized image so this is actually what is inside the hit power photo enhancer so this is the image that i have just imported so to begin with anything i just want to apply a face model i just want this image to look more sharper and clean so i will just select the face model then i'll go to my preview so actually if i click on the preview it is going to load so after loading that's where the effects will be applied on the image so we will just wait until everything is loaded so just after the preview you just go to the spot then you save your image so after saving your image you can just use the image to do any graphic work that you just want to apply so guys this is the end of the video and if you haven't subscribed to the channel i just want you to subscribe to the graphic tutorial for more graphic design tutorials such as this so we are going to meet the same time again bye bye